We're back in the car again today. We're heading to HD Automotive. So we're picking up some turbo, some injectors, and a uni chip. And I also have a sticky beak what's there because you normally there's a few FTEs there and normally running up on the dyno. So I'll have a look around, see what's going on down there. And then we've got to make our way to the workshop and get a start. I've been absolutely flat out this week. I've been to Sydney and back. We did that within just over a day. So it was, it was crazy. It was nuts. So much driving. But we picked up the train canopy. That's, that's I'm going to show you that eventually. But um, yeah, for now we're going to HD. So... How are you, dude? G'day, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Welcome, Hi. man. How are you doing? Nice That's to meet you. Way. Well, you have everything I need, apparently. I do. You've got, got to talk a, to. Got a few bits and pieces for you. I believe we have a, a turbo ready for you. I believe we've got a set of uh, 350 horsepower injectors ready for you. Well, I'm, I'm very, very excited for them. And I think also a uni chip as well. There is a uni chip as well, so. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, I'm keen to see these because these are the pieces that will finish this build. Cool, let's get into awesome, it. Awesome, man. Come around here. package this is what you're going to have fitted to your vehicle come the time of um, tuning so what we get what we get in this essentially is the unit chip itself um, to break it apart so that's what they look like these live inside the cabin of your vehicle um, so they're waterproof regardless so that's a nice little unit there got our uh, wiring loom pre-terminated with uh, electronic boost control wires ready run for it so this is essentially what's going to be wired into that uh, harness seals actually That'll plug straight into yours, funnily enough. So that is awesome. Yep. That's good okay. to hear. Thank you very much, Mick. And oh, oh the mother, that's probably the best part about it, actually. In fact, <laughs> it's actually magnetic. We've got nothing to stick it to. No, nah, awesome, Maybe man. It'll pick some things up. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that that's perfect for the start of the canopy. Oh, it's, you know, somewhere on the car. Yeah. Uh, electronic boost control. So um, these are just a simple Mac valve. It's the same sort of thing you'd get from um, other ECU manufacturers as well. Um, comes with a bit of back hose and the wiring diagram, all that sort of stuff for that. And the uh, five map select, uh, you know, switch here. So that there is going to allow you to have your five tunes from one to five. Um, normally ranges from like your power, tow, economy, a four by four map, which is the same as that power. Yep. But just gives you a bit of a doughy throttle, you know, when you're off road and you're sort of trying yeah, to. Yeah, well, that's all, yeah, that's going to say. I thought about that. I was like, oh, how am I going to go off road with the throttle mm -hmm. response and that? But mm -hmm. yeah, that would be actually perfect. You can tune different throttle into each map. And then number five, we often do is like, you know, a stock tune, you know. So, yeah, easy, yeah, as easy. As stock as you can get it. Yeah, <laughs> stock as you can get it. No, I'm happy about that. At least I can go from, when I'm towing the van, at least I can go from a big power tune kind of thing back to a good towing tune as such. We're good on fuel as well, 100%. and um, yeah. Cool, so that's the uni chip. Awesome. Uh, moving over here, we got the goods, we got the Ooh. G Turbo uh, going on this build here for you. So this one, uh, we've gone with uh, the red wheel option. Wait, how good is actually run roughing car parts though? <laughs> oh mate, it's, it's like, it's like Christmas every day. I get to <laughs> do it every day. Yeah, I, I guess so, you do it every day. It's, it's literally why I got started, mate. I just got too <laughs> excited about it. I run the car parts, that's awesome man. <laughs> All right. So in this comes with just your gasket fitting kit and stuff like that, which you can bang on. Bang so on, yep. really high quality gaskets, never had any dramas at all with those. Yeah. And then mate, the goods are within. So let's get her open. Oh, this looks good. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what we want. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Yeah, so red wheels, so yeah. So pretty much, apparently in um, these turbos, there's a few different types, like you're saying. So the red wheel is... The red wheel, uh, in-house, I recommend these between 250 and 350 horsepower. Yep. Um, they deliver fantastic response, paired with a set of our 350 horsepower injectors. They're going to give you absolutely everything you need to sort of, you know, range from those horsepower ratings that you're looking to get. Yeah, awesome. Then obviously we're talking about 350 horsepower injectors and that's what they are just there, I'm guessing? Yep, here awesome. they are. So look, they just look the same as, you know, sort of any other injectors, injectors but yep. um, they are going to give you the power you want. We do like a really wide range of injectors for the FTE engine. So a lot of people, like commonly you hear, like even like you mentioned, you sort of plus 30 or plus 70. Yeah, yeah. We don't quite do that. We do a 270 horsepower, 300 horsepower, 330, 350, 380, 400. So yep. it's very horsepower specific. And that way you're getting like an injector that's dialed in spot on for what you're trying spot to achieve. Spot on, yeah. If you, what you actually want to run for power. Yep, I get you. So they're yours. Got your little uh, injector fitting kit there. Um, all injectors. 
ready to roll. So yeah, that's there's no point unboxing those ones there. That's alright. I'll um I'll um what I'll do these. what I'll do with them is I'll get home and fiddle this up and then I'll see you again. But while I'm here, let's go for a quick walk around the workshop. Can you see see something outside right now which looks pretty cool, so <laughs> and it's sexy. Look at that. <laughs> Few moments later. Is that Who's this fella? <laughs> I'm here at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging out. I'm just this is um, a very spicy TD. Well, actually, Kate actually got to this way before I did. He's um, He did like a two night swap, didn't you? Yeah, I'm still feeling it. Still feeling it? <laughs> nah, no, awesome. He pretty much did the swap and then got in the car when it was just finished and he's already up in Brisbane. So he's done extremely well. Yeah, it's all right. Gets me from A to B. So. <laughs> Fast. Very fuel efficiently. Yeah. Not overheating wise, yeah. It's mad. <laughs> yeah. For a tune today, so once we get these cars out of the way, we'll pop around the dyno. See what happens. Should be fun. Easy. Alright, well, we'll keep moving on. We'll keep moving and see what's in the workshop at the moment. Sort of like end up, you know, four to six weeks. Oh, is the jet ski getting FT swapped? Oh, would love a barra. I feel like barras belong in the ocean. Barra. You know what I mean? Surely <laughs> yeah, we just, we just barra, barra jet ski. We'll just squeeze it in somewhere, make it happen. Yep, yep. We got sort of anything H engine, one HDT, that one auto, sort of getting pump and all sorts of things. But um, really nice. 70 series in as well at the moment. Ooh. Seven anniversary. This one's getting some upgrades done too. Just done. Plus 30 injectors, sort of 350 horsepower for those ones. Um, intercooler fans, airbox, uh, G turbo red wheel, um, clutch, exhaust, all that fun stuff. On Fair bit thing. going on with this one, so yeah, yeah, wow. VDJ Life. VDJ Life. I'll see you at the dyno right there. Dyno. We'll be there soon, hopefully. We will see your car on that soon enough. Exactly. More FTE goodness around More here. More FTE stuff. This one, sort of in for the you know usual. This one's gone for like the full 270 horsepower package, so that's just injectors, turbo upgrade, intercooler upgrade, uh, clutch upgrade, and uni chip on that one. So that'll go a nice 270 horsepower, 700, 750 newton meters at the wheels. Keep it nice and safe, towing up the beach with his big van he's got. Um, yeah, you've walked in on a day, there's not a lot of FTE stuff happening. We've had a big week of getting them out the door. Yeah, so, because I'm normally yeah. seeing on your social media is that you've got FTEs everywhere, so. Um... FTEs are everywhere, that is how it is here. FTEs and VDJs and all sorts of Toyota engines doing diesel things. So yeah, that's what we're all about. Easy man. All right, well, I better make my way back to the workshop and get started on my build. What's going on? Oh, I'm still on FTE conversions. FTE conversions. So pretty much we made a wicked start on it today. Um, we did, we started last night. Did, what did we do, like 12 o'clock last night? Yeah, 11, 12 Yeah, so about 12 o'clock last night, we packed it up. Ended up getting the bell housing in. We trimmed down the input shaft, moved the box 20 mil back to fit the fan radiator. And today, Michael's already gone ahead and welded in the brace plates. So now we're gonna put this guy in there and get it all mounted up, ready to roll. We got mine here. There's our uh, engine mounts, wire mix loom, yeah, got that. Big ends, T belt, water pump, intake pipe, cooler pipes, exhaust, triple, triple mounts, engine watchdog. Few moments later. I told you we shouldn't have turned the motor upside down with a lot of oil in it. <laughs> no words. Oh no. That was meant to be in patrols. Should have come factory with these, eh? May as well be. There's a few out there now. There's a few out there now. But she fits relatively quite good. Like, we ended up spacing the gearbox back to make everything fit in the front here. We just gotta do a tiny bit of massaging there. 
and make some mounts up. Definitely easier said than done. You're doing some arts and crafts down there. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Got the scissors out. Fuck yeah. So yeah, pretty much just doing a cardboard template. So then we just plasma cut the mouse to suit the template. Makes life a lot easier. What do you reckon, Bert? It makes life easier for you? Definitely good. <laughs> At least we can go copy this one. So this is Michael's. So he's pretty much putting it all back together again. Like this was on the road, all done, finished. Very powerful, but um, he's just done some more modifications to the chassis and doing bits and pieces. But he's halfway through putting his back together, but probably only a weekend worth of work putting this back together. But yeah, this thing's pretty epic. But yeah, we can just Look at this one, see what we need to do, then go back to that one and copy that. So the motor mounts are all tacked in. They're all done now. Just be able to lower it down. Let's see if they, um, you reckon, hopefully they don't snap. <laughs> it's not a good go. Well, if they actually did snap, it would be pretty good footage. <laughs> Loves it. Oh, yeah, we're on. What do you reckon, Michael? Mate, I love it. I honestly love it. Nah, honestly, that motor mount's sick. Everything bolts straight in. Like, the placement for these are just awesome. They should have come out factory like this. Should be a factory option. Put a Toyota motor in a Nissan. Would have been cheaper, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, she definitely fits quite well. Definitely, man. Alright, so now it's time to do the tray mount. So pretty much all we're going to do is copy your patrol, really. Oh, no, nah, not quite. <laughs> not quite, but somewhat. From We're going to copy him from the back to the front. It'll be slightly different at the moment because... We've got different mounts, obviously with space cabs, so we won't use one of these. But yeah, copy from front to back, and we will be laughing. Thank you, mate. Thank you, first.